appreciate, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. President, uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, thank you. Uh, Vladimir Putin, who you'll be seeing in a few days in Geneva, said just a couple of days ago that he believed that U.S.-Russia relations were at a low point. In what concrete ways could your summit change that? And then secondly, on the same topic, you have said previously and in the run-up to the summit that you would be unafraid to call out Russia's uh, disruptive actions like cyber hacks, Ukraine, election interference. But you're not having a joint press conference with Putin. Why not take the chance to stand side by side with him and say those things to him with the world watching? <laughs> well, let me make it clear. I think he's right. It's a low point. And uh, it depends on how he responds to acting consistent with international norms, which in many cases he has not. As I told him when I was running and when I got elected, before it was, I was uh, sworn in, that uh, I was going to find out whether or not he, in fact, did engage in trying to interfere in our election, that I was going to take a look at whether he was involved in the the uh, um, uh, a cybersecurity breach that occurred, et cetera. And if I did, I was going to respond. I did. I checked it out. So I had access to all the intelligence. He was engaged in those activities. I did respond and made it clear that I'd respond again. With regard to, I always found, and uh, I don't mean to suggest that uh, the press should not know, but this is not a contest about who can do better in front of a press conference or try to embarrass each other. It's about making myself very clear what the conditions are to get a better relationship are with Russia. We're not looking for conflict. We are looking to resolve those actions which we think are inconsistent with international norms, number one. Number two, where we can work together, we may be able to do that in terms of some strategic doctrine that, that may be able to be worked together. We're ready to do it. There may be other areas. There's even talk there may be the ability to work together on climate. So the bottom line is that I think the best way to deal with this is for he and I to meet, he and I to have our discussion. I, I know you uh, don't doubt that I'll be very straightforward <laughs> with him about our concerns. And I will make clear my view of how that meeting turned out, and he'll make clear how, he, how from his perspective, how it turned out. But I don't want to get into uh, uh, being diverted by uh, did they shake hands, how far did they talk, who talked the most, and the rest. Now, he can say what he said the meeting was about, and I will say what I think the meeting was about. That's, that's how I'm going to handle it.